Did you get Mum some for her birthday? Yeah, gag. I have been told she's not been wearing it. Or you, for that matter. So what did the hospital say about him? He's doing fine. Do you know, he's put years on you, that lad. Oh, and you wonder why your wife strayed? I didn't mean that, it just popped out. Oh, come on, Kane, we were doing so well up until this point. Don't you dare stomp off. Kane, is mum here? Would I be here if she was? Probably found a nice warm bed. She's missing, Kane. So you're going to explain to Isaac you did nothing, yeah? Have you tried ringing her? Her phone's still at home. Then she doesn't want to be found. Matty? Your mum's in hospital. Somebody found her. Uh, I'll send someone immediately, OK? They just phoned the nearest pub to where she was found. That's what I'll tell Isaac. That his mother's a drunk. Come on, I'll give you a lift. Yeah. Don't look at me like that, as if this is my fault. Just get in here. What do you want? Well, Moira's clearly still top of your thinking list. Because you care. I don't. Well, you flipping need to then. Or you're going to end up like Shadrach or worse still, me dad. Well, I'm not the one with the problem. No, I'm not talking about the drink, Kane. The drip, drip, sarcastic so-called banter every time our mother's names got mentioned. Do you remember that? Yes. Yeah. We couldn't even say the word mum without there being an explosion. Have you finished? No, I haven't finished. Whatever you happen to think about her right now, she's Isaac's mum. And he idolises her. You know, I've done some bad things in my time. And you don't deserve any of this, Kane. But then neither does Isaac. So please, do the right thing by him and go and see that his mother's all right. Please look for your constipation cures elsewhere. How's Noah? Happy? He's fine. You would say that. He probably isn't. Rona will see the light with you eventually. And then you'll just have to go, won't you? Hey, babe. How you doing? Um, Kim is buying me a drink. Ooh, punching, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Your son impressed me with the work he did at Hop. What, all those months ago? Took your time saying thanks, didn't you? Well, we're nearly up and running, so I was thinking of taking him on permanently. Yeah. This is a job interview, so, like, shut up. I'm so sorry. I'm going. Bye. That usual, please. When you ready? Yeah. Would you believe that? My son's going to be working with your ex. Isn't that lovely? Menu, please. Yeah, sure. Social worker arrives and my dad says we're at the pub. We are at the pub. Right, well, soft drinks only, OK? Oh, I've finished. So, that's the payroll system, accounts and any on-call IT hassle I can't be doing with. I should warn you, I may look cheap, Kim, but I'm not. Yes, I've seen your invoices. Look, just do a good job and I'm happy to pay. Always good to have reliable staff on board. What's it to you? You gave Al my job, but I'm still part of the business, so I've decided to come back to the office. Plans fallen through? Hmm. You OK? Yeah, of course. Look, I need to sort some sort of open day at Hop, and Graham's address book is mightier than mine. Not that I'm suggesting we use him. Use him all you like. Yeah, there's a doorstop, a floor cloth. And readers. Has Billy been in? No, not since he was earlier and didn't buy anything and then left. Do you ever wish anyone would just buy you a birthday drink? Has Ryan got a job with Kim? He's going to be loaded at this rate. Yeah, hopefully he is, and then he can pop in and buy me a birthday drink. I just really need his advice. It's my birthday! I know, your big drink's pest. Half a lager and one for yourself. Thank you. I'll have a brandy. I meant half a lager for yourself. Yeah, and I happen to give brilliant advice, so... Billy's finished with me. Oh. Well? Plenty more fish in the sea. Not exactly advice. And half a lager isn't exactly a birthday drink, either. Dawn. Don't give up on him. Thank you. That's advice. No, it isn't. It's just your name wittering. Hm. Oh, Ryan, working for Kim and Graham? Yeah. And my 
my son happens to be savvier than all the men put together in this family. So don't worry about it, he'll cope. Well, I hope you're right. So, prepare to have your mind blown. Massive news. Nate's mother has entered the fray. No way. Matty Tovic, who told Aaron, who told me, she's met Moira and seen Kane. <laughs> oh my God, this is amazing news. What kind of state is she in? Immaculate. And, I'm afraid, a professional. Don't you dare say Loaded, Rich. Loaded, baby. Oh, I hear already. Well, she's not having a drink in here. Well done, Marlon, you just 